Hi, hello, how are you, YouTube? We're back again for another episode of our Pokemon Shining Pearl uh, Let's Play playthrough, whatever they're called here these days. Uh, in our last episode, we went through the Valley Windworks, took on Team Galactic, flushed them out of the building, reunited a daughter and her dad. Good stuff from us. And we also evolved Luxio uh, and Grothel here from our Shinx and Turtwig. And we picked up Mew and Jirachi along the way, uh, who aren't joining our team, but they are uh, sticking around for now to grab a few levels um, as we go along. I'm live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash liamlive23. Make, you sh make sure you check it out. Go give it a follow so that you can see everything live as we go. We're about to make our way into Eterna Forest here, where our buddy, Mike, Mike went to Eterna City, so you'd better make your way there too. All right, I reckon that's pretty sound advice. Let's see how we go. Oh, a friend. You've got a little, uh, there's, you know, like a line of hair in, never mind, don't worry. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Okay, so your name is Liam. I'm sincerely glad to meet you, Liam. Liam, may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest. Trust me, I want to get through this forest, but I am afraid of doing it alone. I am a little scared. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. Uh, I think there'll be safety in numbers, right? You and me, let's do a little team up. Yeah? Huh? All right. I'll go with you, Cheryl. I'll keep you safe. Big boy Liam to the rescue. And she'll keep my Pokemon healthy. Fantastic. You love to see it. Teamwork at its finest. Oh, look at that. The, the sh I think that's the sun shining through the trees, not shining through um, the clouds. Although maybe it is the clouds. Who knows? Let's pick this up. An antidote. Now that would usually come in handy, but we've got our little pal here. Uh-oh. Yeah, you should have bought some antidotes, buddy. Uh, okay, double battle time. Cheryl, I'm going to need you to be big and brave. Okay, we've got a couple of trainers to take us on. She's over here worried about Team Galactic. And here we are facing just random citizens. Okay, now, Pachirisu, we know, gives us plenty of, um, XP. Oh, I was supposed to swap Luxio, wasn't I? That's my bad. Luxio should be in the front, not Grottle. Although, Grottle has Razor Leaf, which for, um, double battles is, is handy, for sure. But I will, I'll swap back into Luxio, because we've used our Grottle a little bit, mostly in the last episode. And coming up to our next gym... It's going to be a grass type gym, so we do not need to be using our Grottle for that one because he's not going to be of much help, uh, which is quite interesting. Alright, Luxio up to level 19. We shouldn't be getting any evolutions anytime soon, um, which is a bit of a shame. It's always fun when, when they evolve. It's probably one of my favourite things, I think, in Pokemon. Is, is seeing your, your little friends evolve. Um, I'm not sure when Luxio will evolve, but Grotto will be in the 30s. Probably level 36, I would imagine, if he evolved at level 18. But Luxio, I don't know. Maybe a little bit earlier. Maybe level 28, level 32, something like that. Okay. Into our next double battle. We're making our way along. I see it, I see it, I see you going down in defeat. Well, my psychic friend, get ready to cop some of this. Ah, oh, Abra and Abra, lovely. What are you gonna do? Both just teleport away? Ha 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 ha. Gosh, I have jokes. Continuing on through the forest. Now, I think we could probably sneak in there and grab this bad boy, huh? Potion, very nice. We're almost already ahead of uh, using potions, I think. We're starting to be in... Oh! Manaphy? That's an interesting looking egg. I'm gonna... That's avocado, you know? That's an avocado. That's not an egg. Oh! Telroy, my boy. 
Did you... I haven't opened the snap. I just had a look at it, but... Was that a video of me? Very selfish of me to think that, but... I don't know. Uh, no, I'm not about that nickname, Life. I don't think I've ever had a Manaphy before. I think this is my first one. I had a Fion back in the day. But not a Manaphy. Double battle time. Let's go, Psychics. Alright, I'll give it a sus just for you. On stream. Oh, look at you go, dude. You are killing it. Screen City, my friend. Screen City. You had what? You had you got two screens on the PC. You got uh, another laptop screen, and then a phone. Was that a phone producing up on the TV? Is that what that was? Spark. Let's spark this Psyduck out. He's not going to know what hit him. Kapow. Good work. Yeah, that was an almighty setup, my friend. That was very good. I just have the one screen on my PC. Manaphy. Very good leveling. Excellent stuff. Um, I... Chromecast. The classic Chromecast. So if you Chromecast, that does that leave the chat on your phone and then... Uh, just what's playing on the screen, because that's kind of cool, um, if that's the case. Bite. That should be effective against Metatite, right? As a psychic. Crit. Not super effective? Maybe because it's... Is it part fighting type as well? So that would be effective against Dark, and it would balance it out? Nice. Dude, that setup was to die for. So yeah, up here is the, the chateau, which we'll go to after the, the gym. Cheryl, you got a big head, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, there's the exit, I'm so relieved. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, you are the, the most excellent and wonderful and perfect young man that I've ever met in my entire life. Oh, Cheryl, that's so kind, you did not have to say that. Um, Alright. We'll battle these guys. I've got a Luxio in the front, so he should be able to wreck these guys pretty well. Oh, he doesn't even want to battle me. Here we go. Four gyms. That's what? Water? Would be the last gym that you did? I think? I think my next gym is the fighting type gym, because I don't think you do the ghost one in the middle. I think you skip across that one and then come back to it. Thundershock, Thundershock, very nice. Excellent, excellent. Well, your setup is very nice. Mr. Mr. Money. I envy it. Although, I, to be honest, I don't use... Excuse me. I don't use the PC to its full potential yet. Um, I'd like to do a, a Minecraft series at some point, which obviously I will be playing uh, on the PC um, and streaming that and playing that at the same time. Oh my god, he's got fucking six. It's gonna be six Magikarps, like level one. <sighs> if we could remove something from Pokemon, it'd be facing these trainers with 800 Pokemon that are the exact same, that are weak as piss. Like, going way back, I... PS2 was the first console that I got, personally. And then... My parents, my dad, at least, either just before I was born, or right as I was born, um, had a Nintendo 64. And so we always had the Nintendo 64, I think there was a PS1 floating around at some point, uh, and the PS2, and we had that for a long time. Worth getting the, the PC Game Pass. Yeah, I've heard that it's it's pretty solid. Um, pretty solid v variety. Does the Game Pass... Um, I don't know much about it. Does that change up, like, each month or so? I think so, right? See, Zachary's more reasonable here, with three Magikarp, rather than fucking six. 
Um, it would be another subscription that I don't know if I can afford, but... <laughs> Because um, I've been looking for a good car game. I'm probably going to get Gran Turismo when that comes out on PlayStation next year. I've been absolutely thrashing um, a Formula One game from a couple of years ago, 2019. I, I love a good race car game. I work at the Mining Museum. I got advice from the Underground Man. There's just a man known as the Underground Man. He, like, lives down there. On digging up fossils and spheres. Before I get digging, let me share his advice with you. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They're very hard. If you keep hitting them, the wall will collapse. Don't do it. You'll die. Keep that in mind, though, as you'll be digging up treasure in no time. Okay, thank you very much for that, sir. I'm the first ones to have, to have started digging out the Grand Underground. You can call me the Underground Man. I probably should have spoke to this guy first, shouldn't I? Yeah, I've heard the Underground is good. It does seem sick. But I've got my team planned out already, and I don't think I need the Underground for it. Except for when I'm planning my diamond team. Here we go. Explorer kit. Um, so like, you know, Elekid and Magby and, and those ones that evolve into that extra one that was developed in Platinum. The Explorer kit. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to get those in Pearl and probably trade them over to Diamond uh, and use them so that I have them from the start, you know, so I don't have to get to the underground and then start using them. Uh, what I do want to go and see is... Oh, Cynthia, hello. I want to go and see the statue that's nearby. I think she might take me to it. Must be helping Professor Rowan. I mean, sorry, this isn't Cynthia. I don't know who this is. Question mark. That's that's what it is. What's your name? Okay, hello, Liam. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll remember that name, random 10-year-old. My name is Cynthia. Okay, now, now it's revealed. I'm a trainer, just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately. Yeah, I'm super into, like, myths and stuff. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? Maybe you'll fucking see him at some point. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, what are these? Are they... They're not Grass Knot. I think Grass Knot is what we get from the gym. Oh, it's cut. Excellent. Doesn't matter for us. I don't need to give cut to anyone because we don't need to actually use it. Stay away from that statue. Oh, I'll put on my Team Galactic uh, obnoxious voice. Team Galactic is conducting an official investigation here. Okay, sure. Now, that's supposed to be a mix of Diago and Palkia, isn't it? Yeah. It's way more detailed in this. In the old version, obviously, I think on the DS you couldn't make it out much. Pal, once created, brought forth the many dimensions. All things alive or not are at the same space, such as the blessing of Pal. Yeah, weird that they decided to put this here and it's not just Palkia or Dialga. Like, they decided to merge them both. Does that not seem weird? Or it's not like Arceus or something, you know? We go this way. Item, item, Pokeball, excellent, I knew it. This guy's going to pop out. See? I know this game. Because after the gym, I think we'll go back to using Grottle. Because at the moment, we're not going to use him, obviously, because it's the grass gym. So, you know, we're not going to... not going to use our grass boy for the grass gym. That would make zero sense. Oh, no. My Zubat Tri-Stars. Sorry. Hate to break it to you, little boy, but... Keep working, and one day you can be as good as me, a fellow 10-year-old. Man, the lighting looks real nice. I'm not going to lie. It looks really good. Okay, so. Also, if you haven't seen from before, the way that I'm doing these gym battles is that I'm only going in with as many Pokemon as they have in a battle. So I believe uh, that this gym leader has three Pokemon. So I have to have three or less because I, the thing that annoys me the most is that it doesn't say, Hey, this gym is a three V three battle. So you need to pick three of your Pokemon to go in. It just goes like, Hey, here's 
the gym leader, you can take in all six, and she's got two Pokemon. Um, so yeah, in our gym battles, I'm just enforcing the rule on myself that I use either the same amount or less than the amount of Pokemon that they use. So the only two Pokemon that I'm currently planning on having in my team is Luxio and Grottle. Uh, the three extras that I had, Manaphy, Jirachi and Mew, I'm just carrying them to, to get some levels on some mythical Pokemon, because why not? Um, but we're not going to take them into the gym. Sup, lady? At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, random 10-year-old. Oh, that looks nice. Wouldn't it look better if the game was, like, down low and you were behind the character? I don't know, man. Art style's not really what I was after for this game, but... Hey, you win some, you lose some, right? There you are. There's the first one. Oh. Gachomp. Garchomp. Definitely. Uh, he's actually... I'll give you a bit of a spoiler, but the chomp's going to be the one that we add to our team next. We're, we're coming up to it. You would have already passed the place where you can get one, I'm pretty sure. Um, in the overworld, not in the underground. Yeah, the world art does look nice. And look, it is like, you know, even the characters, that is how the game looked back in the day on the DS. I, it, it's good that they have done, like, literally an exact remake. Uh, I will give them props for that. Oh, do you need strength? That sucks. I didn't think you needed strength. That's a damn shame. Well, I guess we won't be adding Gibble to our team then. Um... What was I saying? I've forgotten. Ah, uh, the, the art style, that's right. Um... Yeah, so I, I, it's, it's, you know, an exact remake, which is fine, but they kind of set a precedent for actually making pretty good remakes. Other than Let's Go, which was like, you know, to promote it to the younger kids and stuff that haven't played it as much. Um, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. A lot of people consider those to be the best Pokemon games of the entire series. There was the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire remakes, which were like the current generation at the time but in the old format. Um, it'd be like if they made these remakes in Sword and Shield type looking games, which I would prefer, um, to be honest. It's kind of what I was after. Like in the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire games, you could, um, you could fly on the back of a Latios or a Latias or whatever it was and like go around the world. Like literally you could, you, there was a flying mechanic and you just went around and then you were like, oh yeah, I'd like to land there. And then you could land there. It was kind of wild. Also, just do a Platinum remake, not Diamond and Pearl, you know? And I know that they've added Platinum elements in, but... I'm sick of Pokemon making two games, man. I'm just so keen for Legends Arceus. Where they're doing away with that. It does look like that Pokemon has had the trouble of their audience is either like really young because Pokemon is like generally for younger kids but then there's also half their audience that were younger kids when it first started and now they've grown up and they're like wow these games are too easy for us you know what I mean so I think that they're trying to split that by keeping either the mainline games or maybe they'll do let's go more remakes um, to like help with the younger kids and the general audience and then doing the Legends Arceus games which will be more for the people who have grown up with Pokemon and want to see it evolve and change as as they've gotten older. That's, that's kind of how I view it. And look, maybe I'm just fucking dumb. Which is probably true. But... I don't know, that's, that's my little, little theory. On uh, how Pokemon is going about their sort of ideas moving forwards for games. Man, 
be a shame if we were nuzz locking because this Luxio is about to absolutely cop it. I think I have one more trainer to beat and then I can face the gym leader, but I reckon I've probably got to go back and heal before I do that battle. Um, and then we're coming right up on the time for uh, the end of the episode, so that's going to be pretty well done, actually. I'm getting good. I'm getting good at this uh, YouTuber stuff. Twitch streamer, YouTuber stuff. In the middle of three trees. That's it for my hint. Okay. Here they are. Come out. Gotcha. Oh, Veilstone. Okay. I thought it would have been Hearthstone City. Which, that's where you do the contests and stuff, I think. So that made more sense in my mind. Oh, this lady's got a Turtwee. Why would an electric move be not effective against Turtwig? Is Turtwig's just a grass type, right? Electric's like not... I thought electric was okay against grass. I thought it was just fine. Like standard. He's not a ground type as well yet, is he? Oh, there's a clothes shop under the Pokemon Center. That's interesting. I know they have that big, like, shopping warehouse in Veilstone City. Where you could go and buy, like, all the cool TMs and stuff. Uh, like Fire Blast and Blizzard and stuff. Which I never really use anyway. I'm more of a flamethrower, ice beam. You know, I need that accuracy. Not that power. Yep. <laughs> Giggle, you found me. She's quite pretty, isn't she? I mean, she is a beauty, so... It'd be kind of odd if you were named a beauty and then you were, uh, disgusting. You know? You're being typecast. You gotta, you gotta fit that role, you know? Which you learn as an actor. If you're a nerd, you better put some glasses on and, uh... You know, be good at computers. Yeah. Electric must be like average against grass. I didn't. I don't think I ever knew that. Oh, also, I don't know if I did. I mention before when I was talking about the rules for gym battles that I can only use one uh, medicine item, one healing item uh, during the battle, uh, which is usually what they use, like the amount that they use as well. So, like, I can use one super potion, or I can use one uh, full heal, or something. You know. I can't revive though. I am not allowed to revive. If I die, then I die. But I can heal back up one time. Uh, because, you know, in the anime, if, if a Pokemon gets knocked out, they're out. You can't use them again. So, that's part of my uh, rules system that I'm putting in place. So now she... I think she has a Turtwig, right? But her main one's going to be Roserade. And I reckon she has three. Let's find out. Hello. I kept you waiting because that was literally the job that had to be done. I'm sorry. You set the task, so... When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. You look very powerful for a young ten-year-old. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So, anyway, uh, this will be fun. Let's Let's battle. Sure thing, Gardenia. Gardenia? Gardenia. Gardenia, probably. Probably Garden. Ear. Gardenia. 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 I don't know. I've said it too much to now it sounds weird in my head. Alright, Luxio, let's fuck up this Cherubi. Intimidate on the Luxio is clutch. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I really registered in my head what Luxio's ability was going to be, but it is always handy to have someone with Intimidate. Drop that attack stat before you go out. That did a lot more damage than I expected. 
and it's level 19. It's Rosa Raid could come out higher than us, actually. Which I'm kind of cool with, because I, I hate being over-leveled. So, the fact that this is going to be close... Like, Grottle's level 21. Her Pokemon might be higher than that. 19? Alright, I reckon her Rosa Raid will be 21 then. Reflect. Ooh, okay. Um, what I'm going to do is bites physical. So I'm going to go charge, we'll boost some special defense, and also boost the electric move that we'll move, use next. And we'll use uh, Thundershock, right? Oh, I don't want Luxio to faint. All right. We'll see how this goes. That was good. That was good. Or oh, Razor Leaf, please don't. Okay, I think it's. I think we've got to use our Super Potion. This is. I might have need to have leveled a bit more. All right, this is my one item that I can use in the battle. I'm actually getting tested for the first time in a long time in Pokemon. This is good. I've never actually played through a Pokemon game with these rules where I've actually enforced them. So I'm like, kind of, I'm happy with this. Uh, 65, 40. Mm, let's try Spark. Let's try Spark. That did not do anything at all. All right, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to kill it on this one. Otherwise I could be in trouble here. Oh, it had Reflect up, that's why. And it would use a Super Potion, of course. But hopefully that means it won't use it on the Rosa Raid that's going to come out next. Alright, we'll bite again. Oh, that did a lot of damage. That did, that did a lot. I don't think Luxio is even going to make it through. I might lose. Oh. This is this is interesting. All right, here we go. This is going to suck. There's no way we win from here. Growth. I'm going to have to probably set up, I think. I would hope that this Turtwig can't do too much. Oh no, Grass Knot, we're heavy. We're heavy. Not very effective. Alright, I'm going to have to tackle it. Tackle it. I didn't anticipate losing this at all, but I have got one less Pokemon than her, and we're not super over-leveled, so this is what I was after. I was after a challenge. I think this is actually maybe not more challenging than a Nuzlocke, but like I like that I'm implementing these own rules. I don't know. I'm talking myself up a lot, but... Yes, Bite is going to come in handy. Uh, we'll do it for Tackle. We don't need Tackle. Yes. See, this makes for compelling viewing and playing. I, I am, I'm very happy. I wish the game could implement these rules on its own, and I didn't have to do it myself, but... Alright. Do we growth? No, I think we bite. I think we bite. We just bite. We just... Offense. Alright, we should be able to take a couple of those. Yes. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. Need to be able to hit two, of, two more of those. Oh, I don't know if we can. I... And it's going to use its berry. This is going to be tight. Okay. What could come up clutch? Yeah, yeah. I, I think there's a there's a really good platinum one that a YouTuber I watched play. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's like the AI is all upped and everything, which is way better. 
Um, okay, on here, we could come up clutch. My grotto is holding a quick claw. If I'm able to move first, I think I use bite and we win. If we get hit first with grass knot, I think we die and we have to try again. It comes down to this, I suppose. This is good stuff. It did not go first. Ah, oh, no. No. Dang. That's a shame. But hey, that's that's actually good. That's a good sign. It's um it's showing me that the the rules that I'm implementing on myself is making this a challenge and is making it much more fun. Um only using the one item like I could have an extra Pokemon. I do have a third slot that I could fill in. Uh, but I'm not going to just use Mew, you know. Like, I feel like that's kind of breaking the rules still a little bit. Um, but yeah, the fact that I lost, it's 2v3. Our levels are basically the same. Uh, and I, I picked the grass starter first. So I'm like, you know, if we had Chimchar and Monferno, obviously we'd wreck her, you know. But I'm, I, I'm actually happy that we lost, funnily enough. It's, yeah. Just showing me that, you know, the choices that I've made for this game are appropriate. I can't use growth either. We need to flinch. Oh, we can't, fl we can't flinch it. Because it's going to attack first. We've lost again! <laughs> Oh, come on. We're going to lose again. Oh, man. Alright, I have to go and level up. That bit that I said I wasn't going to do, we're going to go and do that. And then I'm coming back. We're now way past the time of this episode. We're crashing down a hill here. What a damn shame. We can get one more level into both of these guys. Grotto will definitely get one, but hopefully, hopefully Luxio can get a level as well. I think we'll be okay. Um, I like that it's a challenge. Uh, I'm. I say that as I'm, you know, getting humiliated. But <laughs> oh, Luxio, you didn't even get a level. Come on. We definitely got to get an extra level in there, otherwise it's not going to be good enough. Do I have any held items that I can give to Luxio? Maybe a berry would be a good idea? Yeah, look, maybe I give it a berry. Look, I've got them, so... No, I don't want to use it, I want to give it. To Luxio. Oh, and I almost went ahead and didn't notice that Grotto was out first. Okay, come on. This has got to be the time. We went away, we leveled up, we trained. We got some strategy going on. Oh, solid. That was a good thing about Sword and Shield, that they allowed you to, like... It was pretty easy to get good EV IV stuff. Not easy, but they made the process more achievable. Um, you didn't have to, like, go and hack it. You know, hack the fucking game to, to get good ones. Man, that, yeah, that Chandelure was probably, like, steamrolling some dudes. Alright. Good job, Intimidate. On the Luxio. Yeah, the bottle caps, that's what it was. I couldn't think of, of what it was in the moment, but yeah, the bottle caps. Alright, Luxio, I reckon, hopefully you can kill it here. Please. Yes. Yes. Alright. Good start, good start. The good thing about battling her multiple times is that we do kill a couple of them, so uh, we get to like 
level up a little bit extra, you know? Oh, Razor Leaf, I hasn't used that before. Oh, any crit, of course. That makes it tough, that makes it tough. Uh, yeah, we'll bite it again, and then another bite should be enough. Well, maybe not with Reflect Up, but... Ah, oh, man, what do I do now? Reflect is going to make it impossible to take out that Rose Raid. Can I stall out Reflect? Ah, oh, that... That sucks, actually. That really sucks. Uh, shit, I just gotta do it, don't I? I don't think we can beat it. Ah, oh, man. Um. All right, do I do I heal up the Luxio or do I heal up Grotto when he comes in? Because I reckon Luxio might just completely conk it first turn. Ah. <sighs> Why is this so hard? Alright, Super Potion. Cool. Um, that's okay. Stalling out turns of uh, Reflect is fine. We should be able to take another Razor Leaf. Oh, not if it uses Work Up though. Razor Leaf. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna accept Luxio's fate at this point, I think. Yeah, okay. Good try, Luxio. Good work. You tried your best. Alright. That kind of sucks, actually, but... We should be faster, so we should be able to attack, no problem. I don't want it to get a Reflect up. And I didn't heal up Luxio, so I still have the ability to heal up... Grotto. I think I've got to go for Growth. Up my attack. Do that little bit extra damage. I think that's going to be good. We should be able to take a Grass Knot. Yep, and then we should still be able to take one more and then heal up. I reckon maybe I'll do it twice. I reckon I'll do another Growth. Yeah, okay. I can take one more and then I'll use a... Super Potion on the next turn. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. I'm having to actually think in a Pokemon battle as to how to win. This does not happen often. Yes. Okay. That's good. That puts it out of its range of getting... Um, A medicine item used on it. Look at the strategy that's going into this. I'm like really uh, pleased. I think I'm gonna win. I don't want to get too confident, but I'm feeling pretty good. And I've had to actually like think through it and work it out and use strategy. I'm like, this is cool. And the fact that I'm on stream is holding me to the rules. We did it. We did it. Look at that. These are the moments that we live for. And Grotl, you deserve that full level. You take all of it, my friend. Excellent stuff. Look at us go, hey? I'm, like, really happy with that. That was really good. Thank you very much, Gardenia. I appreciate it.
I mean, you, you whoop my ass twice, but... Third time's a charm. Yeah, it was kind of hard. We've, we've come a long way as a ten-year-old. I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokémon. I really do love them. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Our second gym badge. Yes! You received the forest badge from Gardenia. Look at that, hey? I'm so pleased with myself and of, with this game, the way that we're playing it. I'm like, I, I genuinely can't express how like actually stoked I am that the rules that I've implemented uh, made it tough, made it a challenge, um, and I'm not too over-leveled. I, of course, could have over-leveled and, you know, done that way, but I, yeah, I'm just very pleased. Okay, I'm gonna save quickly. Um, and then we'll head, we'll, we'll put it in here. Okay, for YouTube, that's the end of our, our episode. Uh, we eventually got through Gardenia, the grass gym leader. A uh, bit of an up and down episode there, but our, our rules really showed that, that they're going to work and make it a challenge. So I'm quite happy with that, as I have said endlessly for the last few minutes. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, and make sure you tune in for our next episode, where we're probably going to go and take out some galactic grunts. And we'll head down the bike road and potentially catch our next Pokemon, depending on uh, how things go. So stay tuned and check out our next episode. Alrighty. Bye-bye.